Let's talk about the Las Vegas Raiders here for a minute. So the Raiders obviously made multiple huge moves this offseason, bringing a new head coach, trading for Devontae Adams, list goes on and on. But they're not done yet. They're uh, linked to making another massive move to bolster their roster in the hopes of is a deep playoff run in 2022. Uh, Mize, I know you have the story, but before we get into that, uh, I want to ask all the Raiders fans watching, comment below which offseason edition you think will have the biggest impact this season. Let us know what you think. But uh, okay, Mize, uh, what do you have there with the latest from the Raiders? All right, Nick, we know the Raiders have had a strong defensive line the last couple of seasons, especially on the ends, and this year is no different. But the middle of that line really could get more superstar power. And looking into none other than Domigan Sue would really help bring a superstar talent to the middle of that defensive line. Now listen, we know the Raiders brought in two guys in the draft. They signed two free agents, and they have another guy. But... You can never really have enough defensive linemen. You can rotate them every game. And a guy like Sue, who's getting a little bit older, probably will do better not playing every single down. So I think this Sue move is very interesting. And you know who else thinks that? Ndamukong Sue himself. When he tweeted, the Raiders could be fun. So there's some reciprocal interest in Sue and the Raiders. But I think this could be a pretty big move for the Raiders, Nick. What do you think? Yeah, so I think there's two factors that go into it. First is the dollars. You have to look at that. And the Raiders actually have that in, in, in spades. They have $21 uh, million dollars in free cap space still this offseason. So they have plenty of money to, to take on a guy like Sue, who over the last three years has only averaged about $9 million in cap hit. So plenty of money to take on Sue. That's not the problem. I look at, look at the Raiders. They have locked up so many of their key veterans, their stars, you know, for the next two, three, four years. So it's clear they are all in right now. They've got Derek Carr in his 30s. He locked him up, brought in Josh McDaniels, a veteran offensive coordinator who's been a head coach before to kind of be a, you know, they didn't want to bring in a new guy. They wanted to bring in an experienced guy. That's what McDaniels is to kind of steer this offense. They traded for Devontae Adams, gave up a lot of draft capital and money to make sure they got their guy. Obviously the Max Crosby extensions, the Hunter Renfro deals, it goes on and on and on. The Raiders are here to compete and win now. And what is a brutal AFC West, it is absolutely brutal. It is an arms race, and you don't win an arms race by sitting on the sideline in free agency, especially when you got cap space. That's why I love the idea of them going after Sue. Is he past his prime? Sure. Is he anywhere close to as good as he once was? No. Do you already have a, a couple quality defensive line? But to your point, you can never have enough, especially in division, where you're chasing after Pat Mahomes, Justin, Hub- Justin Herbert, and Russell Wilson. They need as much help as they can get on defensively because that is going to be an absolute bloodbath of a division. Yeah, and I really think, like we said, they have really great end pieces on that defensive line. But if you bolster the middle of that line, you can start to draw double teams or so. If you see Ndamukong Sue out there, you naturally just want to double team him, which can free up your pass rushers to get after these guys who, unfortunately, Raiders fans, you have three, uh, well, two young, one ending getting up there in the years quarterbacks uh in your league who are all mobile and can kind of move around in the pocket very easily so if you don't get after them they're going to scramble they're going to go out and they're going to make those big time plays that we see them make all the time so you really need to get back to the quarterback as soon as possible so clogging up the end tier drawing some double teams getting your pass rushers free around the edge is a big draw, and a guy like Ndamukong Sue can really help you do those kind of things. So I think, like you said, you don't win an arms race by not spending money, so why not get Ndamukong Sue probably for a little bit more of a bargain than you used to be able to get him for? You know, you get the, the superstar name, the superstar talent, and he's probably got a, a little few bursts in him every couple games if you use him sparingly in the rotation of the plethora of D linemen you have. Uh, there's nothing but upsides the more I talk myself into this, Nick. I I can see this being a huge move for the Raiders. All right, Nick, it's time to get your internet privacy back today on every device you own in any country you want. Don't let anyone but you control your internet. NordVPN keeps you safe from prying eyes wherever you go online with their military-grade encryption. Is your favorite Netflix or streaming content blocked in the U.S.? You can simply connect to one of the many countries available with NordVPN and get the access you need. 
That's right, Maya. So right now, get our exclusive NordVPN deal here at nordvpn.com slash SMI. It's risk-free, risk-free now with Nord's, NordVPN's 30-day money-back guarantee. Again, get that exclusive deal, nordvpn.com slash SMI.